So first of all, how are you all? I hope you're well. Welcome in streamers, hope things are good. So it seems Cody has had another update and it's gone. The 20.4 had a few issues, it had issues. This video is gonna show you how to install Cody 20.5 onto your Fire Stick. This can also be installed onto Android TV, your mobile phone, all in the same process, okay? First question though, do you use Cody? Let me know in the comments. Or if not, when was the last time you used Cody? How long ago? Me personally, I'm not a Kodi user, but I know many of you are. That's why we do these install guides. This guide will also always show you how to get the latest version. So if you want to update to the latest version on your Fire Stick, follow this process. And the process is very similar for Android TV as well. Okay, first things to do if you can, drop those comments underneath about whether you use Kodi or not. And do remember to hit that subscribe button, follow the channel. We will always keep you up to date. And this video, the process will work for any update, okay, of Kodi. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do on your Fire Stick, we need to get an app called Downloader. I'm sure many of you have it already, but for those who don't, really quickly, go to your magnifying glass. In the search, just type Downloader, okay? D-O-W, Downloader. You can click it and click it to install, okay? If yours is installing and you're following along this guide, just pause the video. Once installed, do not open it yet. Go back to your home screen and you're gonna go across to your settings, okay? You're gonna go down to My Fire TV and you will click on Developer Options. If you do not have the Developer Options menu, go to About and where it says the name of your device, which I've circled there, click it seven times. That will make you a developer. Then when you go back, this developer options menu would be there, okay? So we open that up. We turn on the ADB debugging. And then on install unknown apps, you need to turn it on for downloader, okay? It's important downloader has it turned on, so downloader can install those unknown apps, i.e. Kodi. Brilliant. So next up, you're going to find the downloader app. Mine's on my home screen. If you can't find yours, go to the free squares and the plus bit. If you go down to my apps, you will find that downloader app in here, which you installed, okay? So you can click it and it will open like this. It's very important when it is opening that you definitely agree to the terms as in, so it can access your storage. Because if it can't access your storage, it can't download what you're gonna download. With that being said, then it wouldn't download Kodi, then you wouldn't be able to use it. So make sure you accept those permissions. And then you're gonna enter a URL or search term. What you're going to enter here is 75726. This will take you to my website. And my website is linked underneath. So if the 75726 doesn't work, you can go to docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads. If you want to, install, want to install Kodi on your mobile phone, you can just follow the link under this video. Android TV, you can use your downloader or you can just enter again the link under this in your web browser on your device. You then click go and that will load through to my site. This is a perfect time for you to hit that subscribe button to let me know your thoughts on the video, let me know your thoughts on Kodi and things like that, whether you use it while we wait for it to load. Okay, once on my site, currently, the Kodi 20.5 update is in the new updates and new APKs, okay? If it is not there when you're watching this video, you can go down a little bit further, just go down to media players and you will see it here as well. We want the 32-bit, which is great for Fire Sticks, Fire TV, and many Android boxes. The 64-bit is very good on maybe a Fire TV Cube 3 or your NVIDIA Shield. But personally, the 32-bit is not a problem. So you click it. Obviously, if an advert pops up, you just click Close. And then you go down and you click that Download button. Remember, if you're installing Kodi over your previous version, if you're installing over 20.4, you shouldn't lose anything. If you're installing it over a version 19, you may lose your builds or anything you've got installed. So do be aware of that, you'd have to reinstall. And do remember, currently we are showing you how, you can obviously click install to install Kodi, which is a media player. We are not showing you how to get free movies or TV shows on this video. This video is just showing you how to install a media player like many other media players or even web browsers can do to watch your own personal media. So once it's installed, you click done and then it's important to delete this file, okay? Because you don't want it taken up your storage. Perfect. So again, you go back to your home screen. My code is on the home screen. Yours will be in those three squares and the plus again like we did at the end, at the beginning, sorry. 
go down to my apps and in here you will find your Kodi probably at the bottom if you've just installed it if it's an update it will be where it was before you can click open and as you'll see there version 20.5 loading up for you and you now have a fully working Kodi which you can watch your own media on you can install your own media and however else you like to use Kodi remember Kodi is an official app um, it's an official app in the Google Play Store it's had over 50 million downloads perfectly in the Google Play Store so if you want it on your phone you can get it there the thing is on Fire Sticks and even Android TV devices you can't always find the Kodi versions on there for you so that's why we sideload it from likes of my site or other good reputable sites um, in here again it's had 50 million plus downloads so it's not a problem um, it's an official media player that's all it is okay when it comes to like third party encoding and all that that's what people might do with it the same as they would use with an internet browser a search browser plex what people do is their choice okay i'm not here to tell you what you should and shouldn't do we don't condone condone illegal streaming here or anything like that but we are here to give you some media players some official streaming and some great streaming advice brilliant before we leave obviously like we said check out the channel we've got tons of videos here if you're after other streaming apps uh fire stick tips android tv tips all that sort of stuff and at the end of every video we always give a quick word from one of our partners our partners are here obviously they help us do what we do we work closely with ip vanish so you can protect your fire tv your android tv your streaming apps your add-ons and downloads with up to 78 percent off currently the link underneath will always be the cheapest one okay currently is a really good deal at two dollars 75 a month so that's a great one to protect your fire tv stick so you get servers in 90 plus regions advanced encryptions unmetered device connections verified no log traffic and the good thing about ip vanish is you can put it on your fire stick your mobile phone your windows pc unlimited amount of devices because they do not log how many devices it goes on okay so that's what's great about it there's no logs on the devices so you can access what you want when you want from your own home even if you're on holiday you can still watch uk stuff that sort of stuff like i say we are partnered with them we mention them at the end of our video so if you're not interested in knowing about our partnership and our you could have, you would have gone by now so you've already got all the good information you wanted but if you want to support the channel ip vanish vpn really helps us out we get a small commission obviously when it's two dollars 75 a month we're not becoming millionaires here but it does help us do what we do which is bring you these great videos so you can keep streaming safely and great online and try and keep as much free as possible and that's what we're here for brilliant so i've been doc squiffy thank you all for watching if you're a Fire Stick user, subscribe. If you're a Roku user, we've got a great video coming for you in the next couple of days. And Android TV users, obviously, you want to subscribe here. We're almost at 600,000 subscribers. I can't wait. And we're going to keep growing. And I'll see you soon.